All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a quick budget, basic Mustang 101 upgrade session. So the owner of the Lightning has purchased a little cruiser that he's not gonna go crazy on, but it is a completely stock 94, or I'm sorry, 95 Cobra. It's at stock ride height. The engine bay is completely factory. Nothing has been touched. The air conditioning just got charged and works great. I already have the shifter out because that is one of the installs we we're going to be doing today. But otherwise, she's a gem. It drives fantastic. It has a cat back exhaust system that needs some adjustment because this tip is a little too tall. Oh, fixed it almost. Now that one needs to come up. But anyway, that's part of the project. Here is what we will be doing today. So as you saw, I got the stock shifter already removed. We're going to be putting an MGW top loader series T5 shifter in it. Um, we got an MGW shift knob. We got some sweet 18 saline wheels with hand cooked tires that are going to be going on it. And then the main thing is a Eibach Pro Kit Spring Series with uh, poly isolators. We were planning on putting subframe connectors on the car, but they will not be here in time, so they will not be making it on in this episode. This is what I would consider the basic Mustang 101 upgrade package. Uh, we were calling it like a high school style build. These are the first things that we all did to our cars in high school. Lower it, wheels and tires, and put a short throw shifter in it so it feels faster. Uh, so that might be appropriate as well. The only other thing that I would add to this list that is a necessity in uh, something of this caliber is a rear gear rebuild if needed and a rear gear. That would make this car 100% different, especially coupled with these other items. So let's get to it. Luckily on a T5, it's very easy to get to the shifter location. You can get to all four bolts. This is still hot even. I just took it all apart. Now I just gotta scrape all the RTV off, lay a new bead of silicone and get the shifter, the new shifter on. I wanna do that right away so that he can drive this home as soon as possible. Probably still gonna have to let it sit overnight, but at least it's done and maybe even a test drive late tonight, depending on how long we're working on it. All right, so we already got the uh, shifter cleaned up. We have a liberal small amount of RTV. We have a liberal amount of grease on the end of the shifter. This is the MGW that we showed you earlier. Pretty simple install here. Boom. And a uh, little bit of bolts with some red Loctite and she is installed. Look at that. She's beautiful right at home. Great shifter. All right, so we already got the shifter installed. It's all tight, I adjusted the shift stops. Basically you want like just a little bit of play between the stop and where it feels like it's in gear, forward and back. So that's all good. Everything feels just as it should. No problems there. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm going to put in the, obviously the surround that's in here factory, that all goes back in. I gotta put the rubber boot back on this thing and she'll be all done. Successful MGW shifter install. On to the next phase of this project. Getting it on the rack and uh, doing some lowering springs, wheels and tires. We are pimping the Cobra. So the rear springs are already on. It's an Eibach Pro Kit. We already got the Eibach spring in it. Um, and I'm not, I actually have a set of Pro Kit front and rear sway bars that we're gonna put on this car. But the rear springs are in already. That's pretty much done. Now Dan's working on putting the front springs in. So it's got all apart. We're gonna put that back together. And uh, I gotta go run and grab the rear sway bar. This thing's gonna handle like night and day, shift better. I'm almost not even worried about the uh, RTV drying just because I want to drive it so bad. Can I get the vacuum, somebody? While we're in here. This car is actually super clean. The only thing it's really gonna need is a gear ratio and subframe connectors. Well, we got all the springs on. Look good. It's all back together up front, more or less. There you go. We still gotta put the sway bar on. We gotta go get that other one from Nick's garage. Pretty sure you already touched base. We got the rears in. Looking good. Like I said, we gotta get the rear sway bar. And the front sway bar, we're getting the Pro Kit, which we have. Just look at this comparison, holy cow. Yeah. 
there you go the black one is the factory one and as you can see the red one is the upgraded so that should give her give her a little bit stiffer handling but she should be nice for this little little road warrior over here she's coming together this thing is looking damn good now Wow, the, eight, the 18s look really big on camera. Look how big that looks on here. That's <laughs> huge. She's gleaming. So we got Eibach front rear sway bars, Eibach Pro Kit leveling springs or lowering springs, um, and MGW short throw shifter. That was today's project. Initial reactions. Looks excellent. It still needs to drop down more and it needs center caps on the wheels. So hopefully once it starts to settle, you know, the isolators are new, the springs are new. So once everything starts to settle, it should lower down even more. Um, we're expecting an inch and a half drop out of this and it's definitely not there yet. Looks good though. The wheels were an excellent choice. Fitment. Pretty good. Could use like a half inch wheel spacer in the back. All right guys, 1 a.m. update before we come back tomorrow. Car ran and drove awesome. Suspension was good. I wish it was a little bit lower in the front, but I think it's an illusion because it's got a 255-35 versus maybe having a 255-40, which would make the tire a little bit taller in the front. Um, so the wheel gap's a little bit off, but ran and drive great. We got back. Uh, I forgot to change the pinion snubber, so it was bottoming out. I changed the pinion snubber, and then I uh, kind of twisted his arm into putting a gear in it. I mean, it's really a dog, and I had a 355 brand new in the box on the shelf. So now I am halfway through setting up the gear. The whole axle's apart. I have my pinion depth gauge in there, just double checking some things. I already have the pinion in it for initial mock up. Um, I have the ring gear bolted on. Ring gear's installed and torqued and everything's good here. Uh, my bench is a complete mess. One of the worst I think I've ever put on the channel. But look how many differentials we got going on here. It is just rear end weak. But anyway, uh, so this is all set up, good to go. And uh, tomorrow I will make sure the pattern's good, adjust pinion depth if needed, and put her back together and uh, go for a final test drive. Of all the things that we've done to this car, changing the gear ratio from a 308 to a 355 is hands down gonna be the best idea. Um, but we will confirm that tomorrow. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, I smell like gear oil, which any of you gear has know that's probably the worst thing you could smell like. That's what I smell like all week. But anyway, we are going to wrap this project up tomorrow and we're gonna move on to another. SN. That one's. I'm gonna get some messages wondering why that car's here. I can already tell you. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good when it's gone. Anyway, that is uh, that's the update on the 95 Cobra. See you guys in the morning. What's up, guys? Good afternoon. Thank you for staying up late with me last night as I finished up some of the odd items on the Cobra. Uh, now we are working on getting back together. The gear is in. We convinced him to go with the 355 you guys saw earlier in the video. So that's pretty much wrapped up. Dan's put the brakes together and we're pretty much done with this. We just have to wait for the RTV to dry and we can fill it and test drive it, which will, of course we'll bring you guys along for the ride. But what do you guys think about this? I mean, this was a quick one day project. Suspension, wheels, tires, uh, gear ratio change, which was a huge plus. Subframe connectors were slated to be on the list on this project but they did not get here in time and the car has to leave. It's getting shipped to Florida. Uh, so the only thing that we're waiting for is center caps for the wheels and uh, that, that's it. I mean, it's filthy dirty, but what would you guys do? Comment down below what, how you would change this build or what you would do if you were doing something like this on your car. Started bone stock, you want to spend a couple of thousand dollars or a thousand dollars, what would you have done first? Hey, what's going on everybody? We got the 95 Cobra back on the ground, rear end full and uh, she sounds pretty good. No noise. I guess that's what I meant. Sounds pretty good. Doesn't make any noise. 
that we can hear so far. Going left and right, it's good. Handling is so much better. <laughs> That's got all, all power. the power. That's raw horsepower. It's good though. Be making six, seven hundred at the tire easy. <laughs> horse puppies though, not horsepower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, no, she sounds good. Looks a hell of a lot better now. That's for sure. We're gonna be putting the center caps on here shortly. Hopefully when Brian gets here, he'll, he brought them, ordered a couple of new SVT center caps for the wheels. That'll complete the little look he's going for here. But overall, it uh, looks good now. Handles nice. I'm sure, he'll be, I'm sure he'll be super happy about it. I know we're, we're pretty happy so about it. More planted. Quick Sub little project. Subframe connectors would have helped. Yeah. You know, we tried. We're still trying. Maybe we'll get them on him. We don't know. <laughs> See if we can sneak them in. Yeah, right. So. Rear end sounds great. It pulls a lot better. I'm getting close to saying, I haven't driven it obviously, but been in it. It's pulls a lot better, he says, in the two to 3,000 RPM range and up. So. Yeah, it's definitely got more passing power. I would have. Uh, I would have liked to see a steeper gear ratio. Oh, of course, we're going to run out of battery. Alright guys, well there you have it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode where we did a... Uh, this one was a little bit different actually. We've been doing a lot of major builds at the shop. This was a quick weekend project. Lowering springs, sway bars, uh, rear gear change, short throw shifter. I mean, it was really, really good. I mean, there's a couple of things that we'd recommend to top this thing off really nicely, which I've already said is the subframe connectors. Then we'd probably do something with the exhaust because it just needs a little bit more volume to it. But aside from the center caps that need to get replaced, the car looks great. It's filthy dirty. We've had terrible weather the last couple days and we've had to drive it, but it looks 100% better. The saline wheels and chrome really set the thing off and the 18s was a good choice. Car's great, car's fun to drive. We're gonna take it for one more test drive when the owner gets here. Maybe we'll go record that or not because I'll go get to beat on it one more time with him. Uh, but otherwise, huge, huge improvements over factory. I will say that I think it needs a little bit more gear ratio even, but hopefully maybe just add some power in the future and it'll be just perfect. So thank you guys for tuning in to another episode and we'll see you guys next time.